venture capitalists, money. Do VCs help or hurt a business in general? So like in those early stages in the chase of developing a V1, just what's the constructive and destructive power of money in the development of a brilliant idea and the deployment of a brilliant idea? I have seen brilliant venture capitalists. I have seen horrible ones. Ones that care about their LPs more than they care about the entrepreneurs. Of course, everyone's in it, you know, at the end of the day, especially venture capital, they have to give a return to their their limited partners, the people who invest in money that they, you know, that they have to shepherd that money and make sure it's watched over properly. But when there's not a balance, a pushback in a venture capitalist between what the LP needs and what the entrepreneur needs, and that the entrepreneur might be trying really hard, but if they don't see, the VC doesn't see, the exit's gonna happen in two years and they just leave them hanging. When it's, there's no, the value exchange is only money and not mentorship or ideas or other things. When there's not a relationship, but really a transaction, that's when money is toxic. Because you can get money everywhere. Maybe it's a little harder today, after, you know, over the last month, but you can still find people with money who are on that, who want to enable your mission and can be mentors. Not always, not all of them, but some of them can be mentors, but they, they're on your side. Then it's incredibly powerful because it's not just one plus one equals two, right? It's something bigger than that because then they can bring their networks of people and their networks of companies and other people they worked with that might want to join your, your, your mission, right? That's the kind of, venture capitalists and and smart money that's out there, right? But you have to build a relationship. People go, oh, look at that valuation. Oh, it's the brand name of the VC that uh, that's investing in me. No, it boils down to who's that partner and how experienced are they? Don't just give me the brand, give me the person because that's the person I'm gonna be interacting with. 